Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy TJ here, back with another video. Wait a minute, who are you? And today I'm gonna be showing you guys five things that I hate about my 2017 Camaro. Let's get it. All right guys, so you guys are probably wondering, TJ, what do you mean about five things that you do not like about your Camaro? You guys are probably wondering, oh TJ, you should be blessed, you should be thankful that you have an amazing, beautiful car. You should be grateful, all that good stuff. Well, guess what guys, I am grateful, I am thankful, I am blessed to have this amazing, beautiful car. But today, that's not it. I'm bringing you guys five things that I do not like about my 2017 Camaro. Let's get it. All right guys, number one on my list will probably be the spacing inside the car. Now the spacing's kind of a problem. I mean, I am six foot and uh, it is kind of, uh, can feel a little uh, cramp inside. Uh, the passenger seat has the most space, obviously, of course, than the driver and the back seat. The back seat's kind of small too. I kind of just throw stuff back there anyways. Not much though, because I like to keep it clean. Uh, I wouldn't recommend fitting any, uh, no more than three people. Uh, I have fit four, but I'm never gonna do that again because my legs are like all the way up to the seat. <laughs> but I do recommend three at the most. No, no more than three, definitely not four. But usually I only have two people in here, but I may get a third person time to time. But yeah, guys, that's the number one on the list. All right, guys, number two on my list is probably gonna be the visibility. Well, to me, the visibility isn't really a problem. I am I would say I'm an excellent driver. I have no tickets, never got, you know, any trouble with the cops or police or anything like that. I'd say I'm an excellent driver. Ha! Got he! Got he! <laughs> but the visibility is kind of a problem, I would say, for other people, not myself, but the car does sit low and the back window is kind of hard to see. It's really small as you can see. The uh, side mirrors aren't that great because it kind of hinders the vision of vehicles behind you, either trying to move up past you or getting into your lane. So you gotta have to be aware of the road and the people around you. So yeah, that's number two on my list is the doability. All right, you guys, the third thing that I do not like about my 2017 Camaro it's gonna be my miles per gallon. Yes, I know it's a Camaro and I'm not gonna get that great of a mileage, but I do put 93 in here. I don't uh, put 87 or 90. Just why would you do 87 or 90 if there's a 93? That's just the better option. Now I'm just kidding, guys. I've done some research that says, uh, and watch YouTube videos that says 93 is better, just overall in general for your engine. So that's mainly why I use uh, 93 instead of the other two options. And my fuel economy isn't that great. Uh, from Birmingham to Atlanta and back. I don't think you will have to fill up. Honestly, you might be a Little low you probably yeah, you won't have to fill up. You'll just be a little low uh, But then the next time you get in your car and drive somewhere probably like 15 minutes you'll have to fill up uh, It does take about 30 to 40 dollars to fill up. I believe it's 35 or 36 uh, I haven't filled up recently. So yeah, that's lost, but I think it's about 35 to fill up so yeah, that is the third thing that I do not like about my Camaro. Alrighty guys, the number four in my spot is gonna be the trunk. Now I could have threw this on the number one, but I wanted to make its own category because it is kind of a big deal. If you're gonna get a uh, Camaro, you should know this before you get a Camaro, honestly. <laughs> now, if you guys didn't know that there is a hidden, I guess, button to open the trunk, but the key fob must be nearby so you can open it because you don't want anybody to just come up and press that button and the trunk opens. But here is the trunk. It is not that good of spacing. That's why I say before you buy a Camaro, make sure that you really look and see throughout the car that this is what you want. But it's not really a problem for me because I really don't put much things back here. These are my undergloves. I do need to put these on so you guys can see it. <laughs> but yeah, that is the number four is the trunk spacing. And yeah, guys, let's get on to number five. All right, guys, the fifth and final one on my list is gonna be the window now the window is very small like just look at this guys it is very let me turn on the car and roll up the windows for you guys 
Now, if you're gonna go through drive-thru and get basically any type of food and you know, they give you a bag or cup holders or whatever. Now the window, it is kind of small to uh, get what you're gonna get and it's kind of low to the ground. So you really gotta reach up and kind of maneuver your bag in here to uh, get it into the car. It's not really a big of a deal, but uh, I put it at number five because it is kind of a uh, an issue for me at least. But yeah, guys, that is the fifth and final one. Alrighty, guys, that is gonna be the end of the video. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and just look over these five things that I said that I hate about my 2017 Camaro. Before you buy a Camaro, that is the best option is to review it and make sure that it's for you. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's been your boy TJ, and I'm out, guys. Peace.